What's up guys, Rossi here. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make your own Unturn 3.0 server. So I know there's already quite a few tutorials out there on how to make your own server, but a lot of you guys have been asking us to make one, so I thought why the hell not. I'm gonna go through everything you need to make your own server with plugins. Um, except port forwarding. I'm not gonna go into port forwarding because it's a little bit more complicated and it's not exactly the same for everyone. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your unturned game folder and if you're unsure on how to find it, you can just go to your Steam and browse local files. What you're gonna do next is copy everything. Actually, you can just take the whole folder basically and Copy, there we go. Just gonna paste it here. You can paste it wherever you want, but make sure you make a copy of the whole folder. So next up, you're gonna create a shortcut of unturned.exe. There we go. You can rename it to, I'm just gonna rename it to server launcher. Then right click and go into properties on the shortcut you just made. And here where it says target, you're gonna add this is what you're gonna add at the end of this. Minus no graphics, batch mode, plus secure server. I'm just gonna leave everything in the description so you can just copy and paste this if you want to. If you're lazy as fuck and don't want to write anything, you can just copy it from there. And this is where you're gonna put your server name. So I'm just gonna name my server blueberries. And then remember to put one of these at the end here. I don't know what they're called in English. In fact, I don't even know what they're called in Swedish either. <laughs> also, if you only plan to play at LAN, like if you have a friend over or something and you just want to play with him at the same network as you, uh, you can instead of secure server, just put LAN server. If you don't plan to open the server to public. But I'm just gonna go with secure server for now. So when you're done with that shit, just press OK and then run the server once. Let it load for like 5 seconds or something like that and then shut down. And then go into your servers folder here and as you can see the server maps have been created. This is basically where all your server data is stored. So as you can see here are all the data files but we're not gonna do anything with those. So just go into server then you're gonna edit this right here. Commands dot that. Just edit it with notepad or notepad++ if you have that. So this is where you're gonna put your server settings basically. So first of all we're gonna put the name and we're gonna name it... We're gonna name it United States of Chefs. Now you might think that's a <laughs> little bit weird name but uh, yeah, yeah it is. You're right. This is gonna explain itself later. Trust me guys. It will make sense, okay? But anyways, just put your name there, whatever you want. Then we're gonna do map. That's PEI. PEI is the only current official map in the game. You can however use workshop maps, but that's a little bit different. We're just gonna use PEI for now. The next thing is port. And that's 25444, the port I use. Um, I think you can also use 27015 as well. And I think there's also one more you can use, but this is the one I use, so... Then also perspective both. This command basically sets it so that you can use both first person and third person in game. So if you only want people to be able to use first person, just change it to first and the same for third person. Just put third in there. Next thing you can put max players, the maximum amount of players that can join your server basically. And then we have mode. Um, and this is the difficulty setting of your server. So there's easy mode, normal, hard and also gold. So just put whichever one you want in there basically. We're just gonna go with normal for now. I think if you don't write anything, if you don't have any mode, like you just have nothing, it sets automatically to normal. And you can also put a password on your server if you want to. Uh, just put password and whatever password you want it to be. I'm gonna go with no password for now, but you can do that if you want to. And the next thing we're gonna do here is loadout. So what loadout is, it's the items you spawn with when you join the server and also when you die, when you respawn. So this is what everyone 
who joins the server will spawn with. It's basically like a starter kit. The way you use this is you use item IDs. I'll leave the link to all of the IDs in the description below, so just look there if you want to make a starter kit for your server. So yeah, the numbers you see here are basically items. So these are all the like essentials you need for your server to run properly. Um, I guess you don't need max players and perspective. There's also a lot more commands you can use, which I'm also gonna put in the description. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but yeah, you can just look at them yourself if you want to. When you're done with this, make sure you save it and then run your server once again. And as you can see, everything, all your settings are now successfully set. If you get any errors, that probably means you spelled something wrong or something like that, so make sure everything is spelled properly. And if nothing pops up here for you, then you probably didn't save it. We're just gonna go check that everything is working. To join your server, you as the host can just put localhost in here as the IP and also the port you set. When other people join your server, however, they need to use your IP. They can't type localhost, obviously. And there we go. We are in our own server. And as you can see, <laughs> the starter kit I put also works. I'm a happy little chef. So now the server name makes sense, hopefully. United States of Chefs in spawn with a full chef outfit. This is what me and Rose used when we hosted our PvP server. We just made it so that everyone spawns with full PvP gear basically, which was really fun. Check out that video by the way if you haven't. It's pretty damn awesome. But yeah, as you can see, everything is working just fine. And <laughs> there's even people joining the server because I didn't set a password. So yeah, everything is working just fine. People are able to join and everything since I have done port forwarding already. So if you don't want any plugins on your server, this you can stop watching the tutorial here basically. If you just want a pure vanilla server without any plugins, you're pretty much done here. But if you do want plugins, I'm gonna show you that now. So, in order to get plugins for your Unturned server, you have to go to this website, rocket.foundation. Link will be in the description. Just go here, get Rocket, download it, press this shit, download. And meanwhile, you're downloading, you can learn some Swedish. Jag är inte en robot means I am not a robot in Swedish. So, bam, you learn something new every day. So now when you go to Sweden, you can make sure that people know that you are not in fact a robot. But anyways, when you have downloaded that, just open it up. And all these files here, you're gonna extract them into Unturned Data, Managed. And this is where you're gonna put the files. You don't need to put this file in here, license, if you don't want to, it doesn't really matter. And just replace if anything pops up. And then just run your server again or restart it if it's already running. And as you can see, Rocket Unturned for version 6 blah 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 is working correctly. And that's basically the main uh, Rocket plugin. If you want to get more plugins, just go to the website again and go to plugins here. And here is all of the plugins. There's actually quite a few pretty cool plugins. I'm just gonna install this one, join slash leave messages. So let's download that. You're gonna put this um, this file into, go into servers, your server name, rocket, plugins, and this is where you're gonna extract it. So let's drop that in there, bam, there we go. There we go, and it should wait for it. There we go, loading plugin, join leave messages. So, that's basically how you get plugins for your Unturned server. So, that's basically how you make your own Unturned 3.0 server with plugins. It's actually quite simple, it's uh, pretty much anyone can do it, so... If this tutorial helped you out, please hit the like button below and also share it, um, favorite it, whatever you want to. Uh, really helps us out a lot, so thank you for that. And if you want to see more tutorials in the future on maybe maybe on how to update your Unturned server or something like that, let us know in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.
Jag är inte en robot.